everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Today we're driving the FRS and I'm heading off to the school and I gotta say it's not really a chore because I love driving the FRS. Every time I get in this car it's a pleasure. Even on a kind of a wintry day we got snow around here. Well, I live in Canada by the way so it's not exactly the perfect driving conditions, although today is a nice sunny day. Um, I got my snow tires on, they feel all kind of squirmy, but still, I love driving this car. This is a great car. I've had this car for four years, and every day when I get in it, I still feel great. I highly recommend, for anyone considering a purchase of a, of a affordable, economical sports car, this is a car to have. I know it's got four seats, so it's not technically a sports car, but this is a sports car. This is a fantastic car. Um, yeah, buy it, buy it. I don't know how much longer they're gonna be making the FRS, or I think it's gonna be, gonna be called the, uh, the 86 pretty soon. But while you can, you should buy a car like this. A small engine, rear wheel drive, sporty car. And it looks wonderful. It looks just wonderful. Anyway, enough of the sales pitch. I like this car, you already know that. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more modifications on the car. I have talked to, in a few recent videos about getting a supercharger. I'm still thinking about that, considering that. Uh, but also, there's some other modifications I have always wanted to do and sort of got delayed. Uh, for one reason or another, I got delayed, but I wanna get a cat back exhaust system. Uh, I know four cylinders is hard to make them sound really good, but I think it's time for this car to have a little bit more noise, a little bit higher quality sound coming out of it. Uh, Catback system doesn't give me a lot of a lot of horsepower, but it will hopefully give me some enjoyment. So that's one thing I'm thinking about getting, plus maybe some parts of a body kit. Not really sure about that right now, but yeah, it's time to start modifying this car again. Uh, as often happens when you first buy a car you do some modifications I've got some modifications I've done around here then you sort of slow down but now it's time to speed up again more modifications again let's make this car unique let's make it sound unique let the modifications begin okay I made it home and I just thought I'd take a look around the car a little bit and just see what kind of modifications I might be thinking about doing in the near future besides the supercharger okay I have no no extra plans for the um, the engine uh, besides I might get a regular supercharger instead of the phantom electric supercharger I'm still thinking about that and whether or not I should go ahead and do that uh, but also I would like to get a oil cooler uh, it's always good to keep the oil. The oil runs around 215 degrees Fahrenheit uh, in this car, which seems a, a little bit high. So it might be a good idea to get some sort of oil cooler for this car. That's something I'm thinking of doing. Uh, maybe the uh, an aftermarket or maybe the uh, Subaru Forester uh, OEM style uh, oil cooler. And also, of course, you can't see it, but I've given some thought into getting an aftermarket aluminum drive shaft. Now that would that would reduce the uh, rotating weight, allow the engine to rev faster. I mean, I've already got the uh, already got the uh, lightweight uh, crank pulley, which definitely made a difference. You can definitely feel that. So I'm thinking I might go with the uh, lightweight aftermarket drive shaft. Also, that's a one-piece drive shaft instead of the factory two-piece. Will that affect the drivability of the car? I'm not really sure, but it uh, is half the weight of the OEM drive shaft. Okay, this car looks really ugly right now. I've got my winter tires on right here with steel wheels and they look just terrible, but it is winter in Canada. As you can see, we've got snow. So, definitely have to be safe. And that's part of being safe in Canada, is to have good winter tires on. 
And these are pretty good winter tires. They're Blizzak snow tires. Now the other two things I'm thinking of getting soon is of course a rear lip spoiler. I've been wanting that for, well, for years. I think this car could really use just a, just a little lip spoiler at the back. And I'm probably gonna go with a TRD style. And uh, in uh, Firestorm Red in my, my body color. Or I might go with a TRD style in carbon fiber. That might be a nice accent uh, black carbon fiber right at the end there. So that could be okay. Um, on top of that, I'm going to replace my OEM. Oh, hello. I'm going to replace my OEM um, muffler, my uh, cat back, with a aftermarket to get a little bit more noise and some very small amount of performance. So that might be an idea in the future. Now I really like these OEM exhaust tips, so it's unfortunate that I'll have to probably change that out when I get a cat back exhaust system. Also, I'm thinking of getting, to go along with my diffuser, my Subaru style diffuser, I'm thinking of getting uh, sort of like a spat that goes here, that's an air deflector that just bolts on right at the bottom of the rear fender here and is just a bit of an air control that sort of matches with the diffuser. And also maybe get uh, side sills. Something kind of small that just fits right underneath the stock rocker and just gives kind of a look. Which would of course go with a, a front splitter right at the bottom. So these pieces would all just be black plastic that would sort of accent and add a little bit more downforce. I am definitely thinking of going that route. It's pretty simple, it's not too expensive. Just adds a little bit of, you know, a little bit of flair to the whole thing. Man, the car looks terrible right now. But come spring, it's gonna look really good. So this has just been a short FRS update. Anyway, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. Merry Christmas.